All right, we are here with uh, VCU head basketball coach Shaka Smart in his second year. And I tell you what, Charlie, all you coaches are all the same. They're all, every coach we talk to, Shaka talks about how great it is they can go out and recruit, that Eric Maynard and Larry Sanders have become NBA players. You're the guy that doesn't have them anymore, though. I am. I am. Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly an adjustment not having those guys. And last year we learned to play without Eric, and this year obviously we'll learn to play uh, without Larry, but I think our returning guys are really excited about the opportunity. And let's face it, we do have some really good players back. That's one. Of, that's a great tribute to your program, though. That that's the first time in the history of the state of Virginia that two consecutive years a school had number one choices in uh, round players. That, that says a lot for your program. Well, I think it does. I think it says a lot about the young men themselves, Eric and Larry. I think it says a lot about their teammates. And of course, it couldn't have been done without winning. Uh, winning creates everything, and that's something that the VCU program over the last several years has done a lot of and something that we hope to continue. Well, I can tell you from being in that business for a long time, there's not many guys started out in their first year with 27 wins. You did a great job. Well, I appreciate you saying that, and we got a long way to go to get to where we want to be, but we're excited about the direction where we're going. We've got six new guys coming in that will give us an influx of talent, an influx of excitement, and then, as I mentioned, I couldn't be more excited about our returning players. Let's talk about some of those returning players, including a guy, as Charlie and I have done a couple of VCU games. I've just marveled over how a young man like Joey Rodriguez will do anything necessary. If you have to take a back seat to an Eric Maynard, he'll be a facilitator. If you got to step up and run the show, he can do that. I don't think I've seen a more versatile player and a guy seemingly willingly able to do anything you want him to do. Yeah, Joey's been great. And ever since the first practice of last year, he was the unquestioned floor leader from our team. You really wouldn't have known if you hadn't watched games the year before that he hadn't played the point guard position. All he did was led the league by far in assists, steals, and was up there in the points leaders as well. As you mentioned, he's willing to do whatever it takes. He's one of the toughest players that I've ever been around. I'm really excited for his senior year because I think he can do even more. I think he's a great role model for young kids that aren't real big, that see how hard he has worked at the game. And he's one of my favorite players in the league and has been for the last couple of years. Well, Joey's a guy that maximizes his physical ability. But I'll tell you what, he's also so mentally tough and so advanced in his understanding of the game that allows him to be a terrific player. Talk a little bit about Bradford Burgess, another guy who's going to come back and be a real leader on this team. Yeah, I'm excited about Brad. He had a phenomenal offseason. Physically, he looks like Superman. He's come a long way in terms of his skill set. He's literally someone that for us at different times this year will play at least three positions, maybe four, maybe five positions. Mm -hmm. He really can play any spot. Like Joey, he's got a pretty good understanding of what's going on out there. So it, it feels good to have someone coming back with that type of experience, and he's hit a lot of big shots to win some big games. He can really stretch the defense for you. He's a great shooter. He can, and you know, you'll see him this year for us playing more at the four spot than he did previously. He'll play the three, he'll play the four, he may even play some two. But what that does when he's in at power forward is it makes him a, tough, a really tough matchup and allows us to stretch the defense. Shockey, you mentioned some of the newcomers you've got. Who are some of the guys that we should be looking out for? Well, first and foremost, Toby Veal. He's a junior college transfer, and it's almost unfair to compare him to our freshman because he played his freshman year at Colorado, played last year in junior college, so he's played and won at a high level. From the minute he stepped foot on our campus, he was our toughest, meanest, and most physical player which is exactly what we needed with some of the guys that we lost in the front court. So he came in, he's going to be really imposing around the basket. He's the opposite of Jamie Skeen in that Jamie's a skill guy. He can take the defense away from the basket. Toby's all about bread and butter. He's all about being around the basket, throwing guys around, getting rebounds, setting screens. Sounds like a perfect guy for a coach who wants to uh, wreak havoc everywhere uh, you are on the court. Is that the type of guy you're looking for now? I mean, we've talked about how that is your kind of philosophy, the wreaking havoc. Is that the recruit you want, the, June, the transfer you want? Are you always looking for that type with that type of mentality? Well, we look for athleticism. We look for length. We look for guys that are going to be able to play with a high motor out there on the floor. And we also want people that can think on, the, on their feet out there on the floor. And, and Toby can do all those things, as can our five new freshmen. The key for them is going to be 
how quickly can they make the transition to this I, level? I think the fact that we hadn't said anything about it, but the, the VCU won a national championship last year, the CIT tournament. Well, we're excited that we won our last five games. Yeah. Uh, somebody reminded me today that I'm the only coach coming in here on a winning streak. So <laughs> That's right. We'll take it, and uh, we're excited to build on it. Well, Shaka, congratulations on a great first season of VCU, and we look forward to number two. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.